getting money, but I want more. Yeah, yeah. Drip too hard when I come through. Black beans cool when I'm sunroof. How your boss, you don't own shit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Viva La Pink Posh. So today we are doing a shop with me on Alibaba and we are going to look for an angel number necklace. I've seen these necklaces were trending on TikTok, so I want to go ahead and add them to my shop. And I also love angel number necklaces. Like I'm super duper into angel numbers. So what I did first was I purchased one of these necklaces from a Etsy store just to see the quality because they're literally all the same. As you guys can see, they go for like around $21, $22. And we are going to be paying like about a dollar, not more than $2 for this necklace. And as you guys can see, the resale is a lot. You are making a lot of profit selling this necklace. So we're on Alibaba. Um, I'm going to look for the cheapest vendor of this necklace because I want to get the most out of the product like i want the cheapest price and i want to be able to sell it for more money because like again the whole reason of starting a business is to make profit so we have this necklace here for 130 and then that one is 114 then we have another a dollar 30 so i'm just going to contact the seller that has the cheapest price as you guys can see when you click on the listing the price is not always the same the price literally goes up so just keep that in mind when you're shopping on alibaba so we are gonna go i literally went through all of these vendors i'm not going to show it on the screen but i ended up coming up with two vendors that i was interested in the prices were pretty similar but I ended up going with this person that I contacted first because they were very, like, they replied right away, which is very rare. <laughs> they usually take a few days to reply. So I'm just going to ask her. Um, first, of course, I'm very polite. I always ask how they're doing. And then I'm going to ask what is her MOQ. And this is the minimum order quantity. So I'm going to ask her that and also the price per necklace so that I know the exact price for this necklace and I'm not guessing. So I can know how many necklaces I'm going to get. So while I wait for this person to reply, they actually reply back pretty fast. I'm going to start contacting other vendors. As you guys see, it turned into red like super quick. <laughs> Um, the best time, honestly, to shop on Alibaba.com is at nighttime because their time is like literally reverse. So if it's 10 o'clock at night, then it's like 10 o'clock in the morning over there. So you guys got to keep that in mind. I'm always up late at night trying to get like talk to vendors right away because I don't like to wait. So as you guys can see, this lady replied back super fast. So I'm also going to ask her what type of material are the necklaces made from because that's something that you want to know. You want to know if the necklaces are going to last or if they're going to be changing colors. So that's something that you need to ask people. And as you guys can see, like I don't order my products from their direct page. Like if you go on a company's page or a product page, you can see where they have the option for you to buy from them right there. Like everything is in stock. I don't like to do that because half of the time the shipping cost is not correct. And then you have to end up paying them more money once you just paid already. So that's kind of annoying to me. So I just rather order from them directly. So what I'm doing now she's this lady actually confused me <laughs> she was like we are doing activities now activities normally mean like they're on vacation or something but that was not the case this time I don't know what she meant by that but she ended up um taking my order but this was after I went ahead and um looked at other vendors so again, before you order anything from a supplier, you want to shop around. You just don't want to contact one person. You want to contact multiple people and get the best price you could get. In my case, the first person that I contacted, they did have the best price. Um, with Alibaba.com, the products are usually the same. It's just a bunch of different vendors selling things at different prices, but the products, the quality, the material is literally always the same. 
So after I strolled and contacted a few other sellers, I went ahead and went back to the first seller because that's a seller that I'm actually going to go with. Okay, you guys, so this is what the checkout page looks like. Well, this is not a checkout page. This is the Alibaba page of the product. So most people just add to cart using this page. Like I mentioned, I actually contact them. I press chat now and I contact them about the product. Um, also to add, they do have coupons on Alibaba.com. So if you're ordering a lot of product, you're spending a lot of money, you can use one of their coupons. So I'm happy with this vendor so i'm gonna go ahead and move forward with this vendor um just to let you guys know shipping tips i don't use any like random shippers like suno i don't know what that is so i usually ask if they offer ups fedex or dhl those are the three shippers i go with because i've had problems in the past with like random shippers that they tell me even if they say they are reliable i still don't trust that i literally go with ups or fedex or dhl those are shippers that i know will deliver my packages even though sometimes you do go through problems with those shippers but it's easy to do insurance claims when your packages get lost or your packages get messed up so that's why i use the larger companies um I've never used like one of the small, well, I have in the past. And like I said, it was a bad experience. So now uh -uh, I just stick to what I know. So here you guys can see, I'm talking to the lady. She's saying that the products are going to be shipped out on Monday, which yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday and the products were shipped. She, she sent over my um, shipping information, which was fine. This transaction went amazing. I think it's important to find vendors that are very reliable and their reply back time is super quick. Like I feel like I'm going to be working with this vendor for a while. So that's why I never like buy vendors off of people online because they're just literally looking up names and just giving out random names to people. If I ever give a vendor, that's a vendor that I was working with. So I, I'm here. I'm just telling her, like I told you guys, I've never used a shipper before. And she's going to give me a quote for shipping with UPS, which to me, this quote was pretty affordable. So I'm going to move forward with shipping with UPS. I'm just waiting for the lady to reply. So she replies back pretty quick. So see, UPS is 24 US dollars. I love how the Chinese people always put there at the end at the end of the video i mean at the end of the sentence there <laughs> it's so cute okay so i am gonna go with the ups like i told you guys so i'm just waiting for the lady to draft up a new bill because i'm changing my shipping so she has to draft up the new bill with the new shipping costs and I quickly just want to add to this, when you are selecting a new shipping method, always ask them how long shipping is going to take because sometimes shipping can take a very long time and I'm not a person, a person with patience. So I always ask how long for shipping and this UPS shipping is four to seven business days, which I can work with because that's super quick. So Thank God I went with UPS and not the seller that she was like the shipper that she was recommending. Okay, so here's my new make a payment. I'm going to click make a payment and make that payment. Click make a payment again with all my information attached. And the total is not $67.98. I'm going to use PayPal to check out the transaction. It's super smooth. Everything go through. I don't know why people make it seem like it's so hard to shop on Alibaba. It's super easy and this video is proof. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Till next time, guys. Bye.